So here we have our Eagle Eye uh, interface. So at Eagle Eye Networks, we're a proprietary uh, cloud software application built from the ground up. We replace the need for a DVR, NVR device, uh, be it in a home or in a business. Uh, you install one of our bridges, and when the bridge is connected to a PoE switch, and the PoE switch is connected uh, via cable to the cameras, you'll be accessing uh, this interface off your local network. This interface is a, a very intuitive design, great for multi-locations, and because it's a, it's a centralized interface, it's, uh, you have multiple businesses all run off uh, this you know, centralized account. Multiple users, unlimited fees, I'm sorry, unlimited users without any fees. And if you go in to the interface, you'll see the layouts tab, which allows you to view all the different cameras within the layout, Click on the cameras. You can view all the cameras, say, within a particular city, like Austin, Texas, where we're located, within a particular portion of the building, on the entrances of this particular business. You can also set up your users. Admins have full rights, and if you come to someone that does not have full rights, you can allow them a particular access period certain permissions to use, what cameras or layouts they can view. Additionally, if we go back to the layouts, and we come to look at our history browser for playback, we click on this little right, uh, in the right hand corner of this little clock, and it'll pull up this particular camera. The blue bars indicate motion activity. So if I go back to earlier this morning, Amidst all these blue bars, and then draw out a 10 minute interval. You'll be able to see via these toggling buttons when the first motion occurred. So, just using this key image tab, I'm going between frames and doing a very expedited search of who was in this particular camera shot this morning. If there's a period of time that you really need to uh, save, you can hold down the shift button, click to start, click where you want it to finish, it'll highlight a particular section, you click the download button, timestamp, watermark, and it can download onto your computer as an MP4 file. 